Hope you are enjoying your November. We uh, had Veterans Day. We've got a lot going on. We've got Thanksgiving coming up. And Frenzy's very excited for Thanksgiving. She would like some turkey. Would you like some turkey? She likes to, she would probably want to chase a turkey. Um, we are going to talk a little bit today about what you need to have or what's required of taking care of a puppy. So they don't take care of themselves. It's not like a goldfish where they can just swim around in a fish tank all day and you just feed them. We, there's things, there's more than that that you have to have with a dog. So why don't you guys write down one thing that you can think of that you would need to have when you get a puppy? Okay, so we're gonna count frenzy feet while you guys write down one thing that you need to have when you get a puppy. One foot, two feet, three feet, four frenzy feet. Okay, so maybe you wrote down dog food because we have to have dog food to feed frenzy. We have toys, which I think the toy that I was going to have out here got taken by Hazy. Um, you have to have toys. Oh, there it is. Get your peacock. Get your peacock. Here's the peacock. This is one of Frenzy's fa favorite toys, is the peacock. And we have, we have a water dish. She always has a water dish out. Okay, so we've got her food dish and a water dish. She loves her food dish a lot. See, she wants to eat from it right now, even though it's empty. She already had dinner tonight. Um, somewhere to sleep. How about a dog bed or a crate? So dogs need somewhere warm where they can sleep, warm and dry. So there's lots of different places dogs can sleep. My dogs, uh, when they get older, they can sleep on my bed with me. Frenzy's mom, Chase, sleeps on my bed, um, but Frenzy sleeps in a crate while she learns how to be a good puppy and how to how to be house trained. So she's she's kind of got that down, but she still sleeps in a crate uh, so she can be successful and happy in her crate. Um, the other thing is that I think is important is a place where they can run and exercise or a leash and collar to where you can take them out for a walk. Dogs need exercise, they need to, they need to also exercise their brain and learn. So they need to run and play to exercise their muscles and then they need to learn new things from us. That's why I teach my puppies all these tricks and they learn a lot of things because dogs like to learn. They like to use their brain. That's why you guys go to school. Frenzy likes to go to school too. And we work every day with new things that we are learning and I'm sharing those with you guys so you can see all the fun things she's learning. So the, uh, the other thing that I think is really important when you have a dog is to learn how to groom them. So what's one thing that you would need to groom a dog? Anybody say a brush or a comb? So I brush Frenzy. Come here, Frenzy. I brush Frenzy. She's got this nice poofy stuff on her hair, on her head. I brush that this way. And she gets used to that. I feed her treats when I brush her. I keep her clean. And we, we comb and brush her often so she doesn't get mats or she gets all the stuff out of her fur when Hazy takes her outside and rolls her around on the ground and they play. So that's a way to keep them clean and their coat healthy by brushing them all the time. She also gets a bath every month. So some people take their dog to the groomer. Uh, I can bathe my dogs here. And so Frenzy gets a bath. No, you can't chew in that. Um, so when I other things you groom with is you have to clean dog's ears if they get dirty. So she's used to me playing with her ears. So she's, she gets ear massages. So it's something really important to do with your dogs. Um, their teeth need to be clean. So Frenzy's used to me holding up her teeth and looking at her mouth and her teeth and she's losing teeth. So she's losing a lot of baby teeth, which is why she needs toys to chew on and things to keep her teeth 
from hurting because they're they're she's losing her teeth like you guys do she's got loose teeth and so she needs stuff to chew on to make sure she feels okay when her or to make her feel, gums feel better um, and as far as grooming goes the other thing we do is we cut toenails so a lot of times you guys will see nail clippers that look like this and we cut puppy's nails so that we want them to be short so they don't he don't hear them on the floor and so you do this at a young age so they get used to it and then you can do it throughout their entire life so it's really important that they learn at a young age that cutting nails are okay and Hazy's a puppy so she's trying to play with the nail clippers but I don't I tell her that that's not okay and I don't let her chew on them so I put them up so where she can't chew on them because they're kind of look like a toy to her um, so those are the things that I do to keep my dogs clean and healthy I make sure they have lots of things also when you give them things to chew on uh, that also cleans their teeth so uh, keeping their teeth clean can be as simple as giving them something good to chew on uh, that's meant for dogs to chew on that's safe for them. I, we give raw bones, I do bully sticks, I do lots of different types of chews. So just those are some of the things that we have when it's when we get a puppy and that's important to make sure you have on hand and are prepared for them. And that you make sure you have the time to exercise them and walk them. You make sure that they have food and water every day. I always make sure before I sit down to eat that Frenzy has eaten and I go check her water before I have my drink at dinner because I want to make sure that she has everything she needs. So I'm going to ask answer a couple questions that came in this week um, and just to kind of give an update, he, uh, Frenzy still weighs about 52 pounds somewhere in there. She's getting big. She's a big girl um, but she's about 50 pounds so uh, give or take I'll have to weigh her again um, in another week or so. But she's getting big. You can tell from when we first did our first My Friend Frenzy. She was little in my lap, and now she's the length of my feet. It's pretty crazy. Um, the other question that happened was around Veterans Day. So we had Veterans Day uh, this month in November, and Frenzy was asked if she had any ancestors, any of the dogs in her past would be part of World War One or World War Two as a veteran. It's a really good question. And so Frenzy's from Switzerland. The breed itself is from Switzerland. Bernese Mountain Dogs. If you look up on a map of where Switzerland is, you can see the Bern Mountains. There's the Canton of Bern. And that's where Bernese comes from. They're named after the Bern area of Switzerland. And my guess is Frenzy did have some ancestors way back in her pedigree that were part of that, that were helping uh, cart the uh, milk down from the Alps. Oh, Frenzy's got her bowl. That's pretty cute. She likes her bowl a lot. It's metal so she can't chew on it, so she's just playing with it. The other question was about Ned, her brother, and Mele, her sister, that we saw in the video last week, is if she played with them before she, before they left. And the answer is yes, oh my goodness did they play. I will try and find some video and I will put it on the end of this video so you can watch when Frenzy was a baby at probably six to eight weeks old playing with her brothers and sisters. They were very, very cute. And Hazy loved to play with them too. Her big sister played with, with them as well. So yes, they love to play then and they still play now. Um, the last question was about potty training and how do you potty train your dog? Well, the, the best thing I can say about potty training your dog is teaching them how to go outside to potty. So if you have a dog that likes to go potty in the house, I would keep it with you. I would maybe put a leash on it and hold that leash or tie it to your belt and the puppy can, the dog can always be with you and so that way you can take it out every half hour, hour depending on how old it is and that way they get used to going outside to potty and they learn that that's where they need to potty and give them a treat. Make sure, like remember I give Frenzy lots of treats for doing good things. 
when they go outside have a treat that you can give them when they potty so they start to understand that oh I get good things if I potty outside and when I potty inside I don't get anything but the biggest key is to keeping them around you so you can watch them so they can't go away and go potty that's the biggest thing hopefully that helps it's making their world more successful you have to figure out how to they don't know if they don't know to go potty outside they're not going to so you got to teach them that right frenzy she goes i like to go potty outside all right well i hope you guys have a good week uh we are working with the rain it's raining here we live near seattle so it's now uh we're into the, to fall a bit so there's lots of leaves to play in but a lot of rain to go to so Hope you guys have a good week and keep the questions coming.